Well, hello there, my cryptopians, and uh, this here bulldog rod. We got Papa Ron over here. We, we like to see old we're, uh, Papa Ron. <laughs> we're all cryptopians now, huh? <laughs> yeah, I like that word. Yesterday you used it in one of the articles. Cryptopian. That sounded pretty good. Matter That's of fact, true. that reminds me, uh, you know, I got a little friendship going with uh, Yellow Fever for you. He does, uh -huh. uh, he's got a channel, and he calls himself and his buddies uh, Gutierrez and some of them guys, he calls them, uh, were cryptonaires. Meaning instead of <laughs> millionaires, they're cryptonaires. And I thought that's funny too. Yeah, that, <laughs> and they, and, cool. and I'm telling you, those old boys probably are. They, yeah. <laughs> they've got a lot of crypto going on. Matter <laughs> yeah. of fact, uh, Gutierrez even quit his job. I think he's full time into uh, crypto now. And, wow. Of course, that's all uh, Yellow Fever does, too. Anyway, and I hope I shouldn't have divulged anybody's names. I'm sorry if I did. Good thing I didn't get first names out. Yeah. <laughs> well, they're, 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 they're doing YouTube. So and I'm not. They haven't told me they're millionaires. I, I ought to re a shout out. Yeah, but I have to retract that. They haven't said how much money they're making, but I know they they, they're just they're heavily involved in it. Hey, Rod, we got a lot to cover today. We got to cover it, then. and we don't want to get this into a three-hour video, even though I could probably talk that long. Yeah, I know, I know you could. <laughs> you know what That's... the nickname is, don't you, Cryptopians? It's Eminem. <laughs> Eminem. What does that stand for? Motor mouth. Motor mouth. <laughs> well, <laughs> but let me tell you. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> the uh, the chicks dig it though, Rod, because to have somebody that can actually communicate with them, most of you men, that's where you fall down. You can't talk to women, and uh, they are into this community. If you can make an emotional tie with a girl, and how you do it is through communication, she'll be yours forever. Forever. Even though it didn't work for me, but anyway. Uh, <laughs> Let's let's move on. Okay, yesterday, folks, let's do a quick recap of yesterday's video. When okay, it was on Coinbase, uh, we kind of showed some articles, and we're not going to go through it real long, but Coinbase un is announcing, I don't think they've made the formal announcement yet, but they're announcing that they devised a plug-in or an add-on in the uh, payment section of all online establishments, stores that want it. So, for example, uh, when you go to Amazon and you go to checkout, they give you the pay options of Visa, PayPal, and now if Amazon takes it, it'll be Coinbase. It won't be Bitcoin or Ethereum or Litecoin. It'll be Coinbase. You click on that. It'll take you right to the four main coins that they carry, and you can pay with that, with that as uh, one of your options of payment. This will have, it's 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 huge, and the point we were making yesterday is that some of these big companies like Coinbase are looking to the future with all this stuff. They're not just sitting around. I think I put it yesterday's twiddling their thumbs. Yeah. They see the writing on the wall, and they're moving in that direction. As as this, they call it mass adoption. But as all these people come into this industry. Uh, they're planning for that. So for these naysayers to say that Bitcoin and blockchain is on its way out, there's no way. And you'll see some more of that today. So today we kind of want to tie in where this thing possibly might be headed. There's nothing concrete on it, but uh, we've pulled some interesting articles up. But we're going to move through this quick because we got kind of a lot of information. And we'll put the things down in the description box and you can leisurely at your time look at them. There you go. Are you ready to go, Rod? I'm ready. I'm ready, brother. This is exciting. Yeah. <laughs> wait till the end. Wait till the end. Yeah, we yeah. No, can't wait. Let's we, just get to it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I'm one of them guys that read the, read the ending of the book first. You, know, yeah. <laughs> you would. You would. All right, folks. Talking about Coinbase yesterday, and here's an article out of the uh, Bitcoin.com. Now this is this is a few days ago, but it it, it mentioned and, and we had seen this article, but it haven't it didn't correlate it to anything. But Coinbase is adding SegWit support to their wallets. Oh. 
Now, and again, this this is part of the plan to, to move forward, to be more efficient, to cut some of those fees down, to be faster. And we've all had that experience getting onto Coinbase and doing a Bitcoin transaction. And, you know, sometimes it, it just takes forever. So they're, they're trying to speed that up. Um, so they're adding SegWit support to their wallets within Coinbase. So that's kind of uh, interesting. Well, I thought it was interesting. It's Coinbase and GDAX. Yeah, GDAX is a sister company of Coinbase, and they are pretty linked up. When you sign up for GDAX, you can transfer all your personal information, your bank accounts and visas, over to GDAX real smooth. It's an easy process to be signed up with GDAX. So if you're approved for high limits on Coinbase, GDAX will take that also, and yet their their fees are cheaper. They seem to be more efficiently run. They don't have anyway. You can check that on your own time. Now, yesterday I mentioned about MetaMask. MetaMask is a wallet, um, and they're tied in with uh, Ether Delta, which is kind of an exchange, and they they're they're kind of difficult to maneuver through, at least for me. I mean, I had to watch a few videos before I got the hang of uh, that Ether Delta, but MetaMask, I mentioned yesterday that, uh, and this is just an image, folks, when you open your MetaMask wallet, and this little fox thing here, Rod, uh -huh. where, where this wallet sits on most computers is right up here on the top right corner. You'll have that little fox logo up there, and that's where you open it up. Put your password in, it opens. And I hadn't been on mine in a while, but the other day I got in there, and I, and I saw this buy button. I said, what? So I, I clicked on that and it went right to a Coinbase tab um, or their plugin maybe. Oh, yeah. So. Uh, I'm, not, I'm not using MetaMask, so I don't know. Well, MetaMask is, they're, they're kind of based on Ethereum. So they use, I believe, and Ether Delta does too. Now I'm probably going to. I'm probably going to have to retract all this, but as my understanding, they use Ether as their gas, the, the thing that gets your transactions done. You can, you can up your gas limits if you want a faster transaction and so on. So if, you're, if your wallet is lacking a little ETH, you can hit that buy button. It'll open up Coinbase tab. You can hit Coinbase. You don't even need an account at Coinbase, and, it, they'll, and you can buy $5 worth of ETH immediately to fund this MetaMask wallet. Um, and of course the limits are higher if you do. So this is this is the tab that would come up I think once you press and uh, so if your emails you put your email in there and I don't I haven't done the continue so I don't know how that works but they'll send you five dollars to fund that MetaMask through Coinbase and again you can do larger transactions also. So Again, that's probably the plug-in or some kind of app that's that's being used already. It's kind of well. It says powered by Coinbase. Yeah, no, that and that blue color is Coinbase. So yeah, that that's the page that comes up under the Coinbase tab. Oh, okay. Yeah. Okay, so now we're kind of up to speed, and now I want to talk about a few things real quick that I'm sure Ooh, everybody's yeah. already heard. Arizona is getting in. Yeah, they passed this thing. That you know they're Republicans. And uh, for all you Democrats out there, I don't mean anything by it because it takes two uh, two systems of government for to make it work. So we have the uh, uh, consensus. You know, if, if we have a government on with just one one party, then it don't work very well. But two parties works very well. Has been for 200 years, so I like it. So anyway, move well, on ho, 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 hold on there. What? Yeah, I, it was set up to work properly, but if they're both if they're both corrupted, well, okay, yeah, we won't get into that. But I just wanted no, to say I I, that there is a yeah, possibility. But this, but this here is U.S. This is U.S. Arizona <laughs> Senate passes a bill to allow tax payment in Bitcoin. Can you believe that? Even and that's just so to show you. I down that's one state. Now it will start and 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 snowball. You watch this. Of course, Arizona usually is a state that. Uh, Kind of innovative in a lot of things, and I'm not from Arizona. <laughs> I'm from Texas originally, but uh, 
they're pretty dang good. Well, and it's just interesting that this also just came about within this last week, and I'm sure most of you have already heard about this, that you can pay... since last year, the, end, the latter part of last year, if I remember correctly. Oh, now, maybe I'm not aware of that, but it yes, sure came yes. up quickly and passed last week, and boom, they're on board, and it's like, well, wait a minute, you got all these people that are naysaying Bitcoin and all, and now you've got a state <laughs> that's taking it as a currency. Anyway. That's pretty cool, I think. Well, it is, but again, can you see the transition? It's moving us into this digital crypto world of some type because of all the things that are transpiring lately. Yeah. And then we had uh, this last week also that uh, there was a testimony of this uh, Christopher Giancarlo. He's the chairman, Commodity Futures Trading Commission. He went before the Senate Banking Committee and testified or gave them this written testi testimony of his research into cryptocurrency. Now, folks, this thing is pretty dang long, and we're not going to review it or go through it, but we will attach it to the description box. But the point, and you, like I said, you guys have all probably heard of it. And, Rod, here's what I'd like to do, too. Um, Bix Weird did a great synopsis. You, you, okay, perfect. So we're going to have his YouTube down in the description box so you can hear him. It's 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 a lot quicker than reading that thing, and he'll give you a quick synopsis of what was discussed in there and how positive it is. Of course, Bix puts his own his own twist on there that it's the good guys coming about and all that. Just and that's fine. I, I'll anyway. So this will be down there. But again, here. This was kind of a panic at first when they were talking about these guys going before the, the uh, banking committee because they thought it would be a big negatory, big negative thing on the crypto industry, but it turned out to be super positive. <laughs> you got a comment I'm on that? Sure did, I, I just, like, and they probably didn't, they probably crawling in their seats, man. <laughs> well... And, and and this is kind of the, the the direction that we're taking this is like, why is all this transpiring right now? Why is all of a sudden everybody on board with, except the, except the stupid J.P. Morgan bankers, they're still out there saying just idiotic stuff that shouldn't even be yeah. talked about. And, and, and these guys probably haven't read a dang thing, probably haven't, anyway, I'll get off that. You get me all worked up and I'll have to... <laughs> I'll have to get me a Coke and <laughs> settle down. So anyway, these things have all been transpiring. They're moving towards the direction of either a digital currency of some type, blockchain technology. And Rod, um, you and I were even talking yesterday that we came across a couple articles. This is back in 2014 and 15. That back then they were talking about blockchain technology and moving towards this type of system. Well, let's keep going here. Um, then we got this here. Congress is reportedly drafting a bill that will mainstream digital currency. Um, and this isn't real recent. This article was written back in August. Uh, but anyway, this is being discussed. This stuff's going on. And then you remember um, when Trump was running for president, he made the declaration that he would abolish the Federal Reserve during his time. Um, now, that, that could be taken a couple ways. That could be taken. One is that um, he sees the evil, corrupt bankers for what they are. And how they control the whole world, and they're moving us toward a one-world government. Um, and he wants to get rid of that and get us back on square footing. Or you could take this, that he's part of the club, and uh, maybe moving us towards a digital currency to get us all cashless. Now, we've discussed in a few of our videos, Rod, about the negatives of being in a cashless society. Uh... You know that they control you at that point. If 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 everybody's on a digital system, which they control, not not counting crypto. Yeah, crypto. It's it's decentralized. Hopefully. Yeah. Um, 
which they control. You know, anytime they want to tax you, they can pull it out. Anytime they want to fine you for breaking the law, they can extract funds. They can penalize you. Let's say you broke the law and instead of sending you to jail, hey, we're just going to cut your we're just going to cut your debit card off, buddy. Yeah, we're we'll, not uh, sending you to jail. <laughs> yeah, we'll just penalize you right there in your own home. You won't have food for a couple months. How's that? Yeah. yeah. So this is the problems and then of course to move us into that transition they always blame it on hey the drug cartels are running wild we got to get a handle on this uh, we got to get a handle on those non-taxpayers we got to make sure that everybody pays their fair share even though the government spends a gazillion times more than they collect yeah. um, and then they blame it on fraud and of course the black market and, and everything to get us all Par uh, paranoid that yeah we better we better do this to stop the evil crime that's going on in the country even though the biggest criminals of all are sitting in the White House and well <laughs> let me retract that are sitting in some government positions sorry so um I don't even know where I was headed with all that now <laughs> It, well, it, the, main, the main thing is Trump wanted to abolish the Federal Reserve. But he did clarify that Sandy wanted to reinstate the gold standard. But we know that the gold standard wouldn't hold up. It'd be, I don't know. The, the only real way to, to help our government is to get into the cryptocurrency. And in one of these days, it's going to be the payment form of the world. I, I, I really believe that. I think it's headed that way, and I, and what and we're just getting to the end of this now, folks. But Rod's right; they want to, and Trump kind of said they want to move towards a gold standard. But um, you know, gold is so heavy and bulky, and same with silver. But uh, well, even even if uh, the gold standard, meaning like you know, earlier in in our government's history, we had the gold standard, which means that gold was the dollars were only limited to the amount of gold we had in Fort Knox. It was backed by gold, and then it eventually went down to backed by silver. But now, now it's backed by nothing. Well, Nixon <laughs> took us off the gold standard, and yeah, and uh, yeah, it's just paper currency fiat. But anyway, so we're looking at two options here. You know that maybe Trump is is uh, looking at this for the right reasons and moving it forward, or maybe he's part of also the uh, one worlders and and moving us towards a cashless society type system we don't know but anyway there a long time ago there was something talked about called the fed coin and uh this article is pretty interesting god it's already it's already been a while so we're going to put this down there folks so you can read through this there's some there's some really good objectives in here about this fed coin that you will use um and if I remember right, he at the very end of this talks about. Close your eyes, Rod. Okay. I don't want to get you dizzy here, <laughs> you big baby. <laughs> um, Casey likens the potential currency revolution to the Industrial Revolution. The yeah. technologies developed then gave unprecedented freedom and literally life to the common man. Um, whether governments will succeed is not clear. They may be thwarted by their own incompetence or by the intris intrinsic decentralization of cryptocurrencies. It seems clear, however, that governments will make the attempt. And when they do, the best response is a better technology that sprints forward and leaves those who wish to tame that's not what I wanted to find either it's not I don't know where it's anyway read the article folks you'll love it yeah you will you but will. he makes a real good clear statement in here that um, I, I, w I should have marked it Rod I'm sorry yeah that's alright it's good you did but good. Uh, um, what else did I have was it in this article here? Now this one, this one was written, folks, in December of 2016, but it was updated January 19th. So it was updated about a year later, not too long ago. 
And this is what Rod was talking about. Trump moves to abolish the Federal Reserve and institute gold standard. Um, and of course, you know, they got to move us in that direction kind of slowly. The Feds never do anything really quick. No, no government agency moves on things super fast. They got to get us mentally prepared. And, uh, you know, they got to, like I say, they got to call out all the dark reasons why we need to move in this direction. It's for our best interest and we'll all be benefited by it. But folks, the the benefit of blockchain technology and crypto as it stands today is that it is peer-to-peer. There's no central figure controlling it. There's no... Um, so if they do come up with a Fed coin and, and, and one of the articles talked about they're going to one way to do it is fork off a of Bitcoin so they have the blockchain intact and then bring on their own token or coin um, claiming it'll all be transparent it'll be under their control they'll be able to keep the economy safe and oh it's it's just a bunch of bunk so we need to keep things like Bitcoin and like we need to keep that intact so we have this decentralized system that the government doesn't control. We don't want we don't want them to give us permission where we can spend our money, how much we can spend, um, and if and if there's a dark side to it, oh my heck, clean up your own house before you start telling me what we need to do with ours. So, yeah. so let me let me get to the end point of this, Rod. Now that my brain is a hundred different ways <laughs> to summarize. This crypto technology, this industry, the this platform, all these projects are moving us in the direction and the feds see it. They see the writing on the wall and they're moving that way too. The problem is we don't know if they're moving there for the right reasons or for the wrong reasons. And that'll be shown as time goes on where Trump really moves this. But right now, things look positive. You got Arizona, you got the banking committee hearing positive reports. You, you got everybody talking about it that, that this technology and crypto is the way of the future. So, yeah. um, anyway, I don't know if we did any good with this or not, Rod. <laughs> you know, this morning it was clear as mud, man. I could look at this and say, oh, yeah. That's what we're going, and now it's like, well, what did we, what did we really prove just now? <laughs> that there's confusion, I guess. So anyway, folks, uh, digest this stuff. It, it's just good to know where we're headed. That, uh, and you can keep not only abreast of the news, but you can be awake that if they want to move us into a Fed coin, well, you know that that's not beneficiary for all of us. We need our own control. We need systems that are decentralized. Rod, thanks for listening to me. Hey, you, you did a good job. I, I think we are moving in the right direction. And I see that our government is, and especially when you get to the states, if they, if they start adopting this, it, it'll go it'll go full-fledged. But you know, to add to what you were saying, any time that the federal government makes any kind of an economical change, it takes at least 10 years for it to really come to fruition. It just takes that long to get everybody on board and aligned and all that stuff. But the, but you're right. Crypto is coming, and it's coming within the next 10 years. <laughs> For sure. All right. <laughs> Appreciate you bearing with us, folks, and listening to these two old fellas. <laughs> Geezers. Ron knows a hell of a lot, man. I tell no, you. I do oh boy, he studies everything. We appreciate you. Give us a thumbs up if you like what you heard. And uh, we'll see you on the flip side. God bless.